Here I am in tables of access. Now what I want to do is to create a dashboard in forms. The only thing is if I need it to, to create another form then I need it to base it on a table here. Okay so to base it on another table I need to go to tables and create a new table. I'll do it in design view. Here in design view I want dashboard. This has got to be a text thing. When I save it I turn this to be a dashboard table and I OK it. It says here do I need a primary key? The answer is since, since I'm just making a table to be a basis for a dashboard then no I don't need a primary key. So the answer is no. Now I don't need to write anything in the dashboard either. I just need to go up to here and close that down. So now I have two tables, a dashboard table and a student table. The student table, when I click onto it, has all of these students. When I go into design, there's my student table, I can close that. The dashboard table has that. OK, let's go to Forms. So, I wish to design a new form. I wish to be in Design View. And I wish to base it on Database Table. OK. Now, the first thing to do is to drag the screen elements across and fill up the screen area. Then to drag it down. Now I'm not talking about going to that number or that number. I'm talking about filling up the screen. I'll move this out of the way to here for the moment. Now the first thing I want to do is to create a background for my dashboard. So there's the first cell. I'm going to fill this up with white paint. Now I'm going to draw another cell and put that exactly inside the previous cell. OK, so this time I'm going to make that a solid blue. OK, and now I'm going to go and draw a final cell inside a final rectangle inside the previous rectangle and make that I don't know that I want it bright white but I don't want it that'll do there okay so I've put those together and I'll save it and call this a dashboard form. I'll OK that. Alright, now the first thing I want to do is to go into my dashboard form and right there Jack Barnett 21's database no database dashboard okay now I want to click onto that cell again and then change the number 
possibly to 36. I'd also like to change the font as well. Since I am known to be fond of papyrus. I could make that. No, it won't let me do that. Let's see if I can make that. Click outside always and then click back on there and then make that a little wider. Yes. Let's see if I can make that a bit smaller. That's better. Now if I were to put it like that, that would be better. I could make it bold to give it a little more depth. Now if I want this sign to disappear, then I need to go to the line there and make the line around it transparent. I think that'll do for the moment. Let's save that and have a look at it. Well that looks okay. So let's go back into design view, grab our button and see about putting a button on there. Now what do I want to do? Form operations open form next student form next open form and show the record yes what do I want? I want to go here and write open student student form next I don't need to worry about this for the moment let's finish so there's my button. Let me just click on to there one moment and take click on there and make that a little smaller. Now I'd like that to be a bit bigger. That's better. So that if I were showing this to students, they could see it in the in the computer room. All right, I want to put one more button here. Let's see if I can make it a similar size to the last one. Okay, I want to do an application button. On to next. Now this is a quit application. I should call this quit access. On to next. These are not relevant at the moment. And if I do that, now what I want to do is to click onto there and see if I can see the size of it. See that? Width 401. Let's see if I can go down there and go to width. Four point one oh one. Right, I've got that right. Now let's go to this, go down, and what have I got? Height one point six nine three. Height. No, let's go up again. Height. one point six nine three that's it now I have two buttons exactly the same size and what I should do now is to put that away I'll close that and save that now if I go to the different view and go on to there now if I click onto that I can see my student database and I can move through looking at the names of my students okay fine close if however I click on this button let's save everything 
then that's the result. Don't tell me I wasn't recording the screen. Recording. <laughs> 